Before I start this video, I wanted to say that I made a new Twitter account a month ago and forgot to mention it. Uh, follow it at Wolficide Vivo. I've noticed a lot of rants on Storytime Animators recently, as you can see in these screenshots here. I went through a few of them, and then I realized, whoa, I can make a video about this too. Give my opinions and get easy views, baby. So here we are, Storytime Animators. Where should I even begin? Storytime Animation started off as something quite enjoyable. They were new, fresh, and just straight up entertaining. At first, there was Susie and Domix. Odd Went Out came down the line, and he's the one that pretty much began the scene, or, you know, made the, the trend. Correct me if I'm wrong. People flocked to these channels on YouTube, starting a market for Storytime Animation, a new genre that was flourishing. Artists realized they could make a living and gain an audience, you know, basically fame, a spotlight without a challenge for just telling their stories with silly drawings to portray them. But, as time went on, hundreds of Storytime channels appeared, oversaturating the market which watered down the entire genre. Storytime videos turned into a simple science that caused once entertaining and enjoyable videos to become nearly unwatchable. These Storytime animators would make their videos on the same subjects, and I was taken back at the stark similarities between each video. Some were almost eerily similar. So many of these guys came out of nowhere, appeared from the abyss, and before we even realized the floodgates had been opened on Storytime animators. I loved these videos. They were, and still are, much better quality than most things on YouTube nowadays, but they kind of just ran dry for me. Tabs and Catzoon were my favorites in this category. I'm unsure if Catzoon counts as a storytime animator, but I'm going to say your name anyways. I watched Domix, Jaden, All Ones Out, Catzoon, Tabs, and something else YT. Eventually, after months of watching these YouTubers, like I said previously, they ran dry for me. And here's why. You gotta understand, there's only so much content you could draw out of your life. While your memory does hold many things over time, it tends to get very murky and difficult to establish certain moments in your life to invigorating and interesting videos. While this simplistic and easy to make algorithm might have worked for 10 to 20 solid videos, eventually notable and interesting moments in your life will begin to run dry and inevitably you'll run out of content to create. This is where I see YouTubers go down multiple different paths. After going over their most interesting life stories, they begin to devolve into more generalized and repeated video topics such as what you see here. Another lesser known path I've witnessed storytime YouTubers go down is the path of creating original stories to drawing out sometimes hundreds of videos. The last two paths I've seen these storytime YouTubers go down is with the odd ones out in Jane Animations. They'll have an issue in their life, or possibly an awkward exchange, and then blossom that into a video, plus explanation of what brought them to this idea, i.e. the awkward exchange or issue they recently encountered. Finally, the last path I've seen these storytime YouTubers go down is the path of no return. If you haven't yet noticed, all these alternatives to tradition and pure storytime videos might end in the same fate. With the case of many, they'll hire a team of people to turn out ideas for quick multi-million view videos, and well, while this might make for a good livelihood, it uh... It always results in tiring and boring content, which is, you know, just blatantly unentertaining to watch. Another note I also feel with these videos is, there's just so many of them, a majority of such feel the same to me. Now, you have to understand, these videos followed a close algorithm, making them relatively easy to produce. With that in mind, many, many, many people joined in, and this subsequently led to a massive oversaturation of the genre. With all these YouTubers making content on a relatively specific genre, a couple of them found ways to further dumb down their content, making it far easier to produce. Soon, all the other storytime YouTubers followed, and now if you take a look at the storytime genre, you'll see the thousands of videos that appear widely identical. I was gonna, um, <coughs> I was gonna make another half of this video where I give my positive opinions on the on storytime animators, but I'm just so demotivated, I, I, I couldn't push myself, so here you go. Also, sorry for not uploading for a while. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs>